I love Cindy Kim bitch because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to do. funny, mama. <laughs> so <laughs> that I was Two funny mamas. Hey y'all, what's going on? How you doing? It's Kim Whitley and welcome to Two Funny Mamas. And I know you're like, well, it's Two Funny Mamas. Where is Sherry Shepard? Sherry Shepard is in uh, New York doing the Wendy Williams show. So please support her all week. Absolutely. I am uh, here alone. No, I'm not alone. Of course, I'm never alone. I have a very special uh, co-host today. This is my girl. She's a comedian. She's toured all over the United States. Um, she, me and her, I want to say we kind of, she started maybe after me, but funny, funny, funny. She's written her own movie. Um, she's written for people. And uh, just my good girlfriend and funny. Y'all show some love for the very talented Melanie Camacho. Hey, everybody. Ooh. Hey, girl. hey, Kim. How you doing? I'm blessed. How are you? You look I'm great. Good. Thank you. You look good. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. You're and fun. I loved you on the Wendy Williams show. Kim, you did a oh, great job. Thank you. So, you know, I was, everyone uh, I hosted before Sherry, the week before, I hosted the Wendy Williams show with Finesse Mitchell. Um, yes, I was really nervous, but uh, it, you couldn't you know, tell. Was, you did a great job. Thank you, thank you. And off to the side over there watching, uh, Wendell James is uh, over here listening. So if you hear him yell something ridiculous, so y'all know it is him. <laughs> um, I, I don't. Yeah, he, he got his little outfit on. But um, I want everybody to know, I, I said he got his little outfit on. Oh, no, that's like and, I'm two years old. Know, he got his little Garadimo outfit on. <laughs> and then Chris bust out laughing. Uh, no need to intro me. Like, I'm a grown man. man. This ain't no outfit. Mm. <laughs> he got his little, yeah, he is a grown man. I'm sorry, y'all. Say so Joshua funny. wears outfits. Right. Wendell was on, sorry, that was me. Wendell was on our, um, show what a couple of weeks ago i got blurry sorry everybody for those that are watching wipe uh wipe your lens and maybe it'll uh, uh you're not on wipe you mean put your finger in front of it chris i think maybe both wipe it it's not it's not it's not uh it ain't got grease on it chris what's wrong with you okay i'm gonna wipe it he said wipe it like somebody over here touching the lens see chris i wiped it it is the because of all the light in the room I think that is the problem. It's one of these high tech cameras that if you move or something, I don't know, it did it last night. And every, I just put my hand in front of me and I try to get it to focus on me. Like I try to get Chris to focus on me. Usually hey. that's how it works. That was good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you could get close to it, see if it'll refocus. Uh, it wouldn't be a too funny mama's if it wasn't uh, some technical right. fun. Focused right. on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it wasn't some technical stuff going on. Get a piece of white paper. Oh, look at you. Oh, there oh, it there goes. It there it is. There she is. I, I need to put my finger on it a little longer. Oh. <laughs> hey, back my to the show. Eye. Kim Whitley, Melanie Camacho. We got Wendell in the background. Sherry's doing Wendy's show today. Kim, how do you guys know each other? Oh, man. Did I just Tell stop? Kim. <laughs> Good boy. We know, go ahead, Melanie, you tell everybody how we know each other. You know, you talk I, I've been knowing Kim probably 20 years and I can't even tell you where I met her at, but <laughs> since I met her, she has been one hell of a friend. I can tell you that much. That's good. We probably, love we me probably some Kim. Met, yeah, I love you. We probably met at like the townhouse or something. Probably do a stand probably. probably. We have another mutual friend as well. My uh, uh, One of my girlfriends that I grew up with, Cynthia Boutte and Kim are really good friends. So I might have met you at the YMCA when I was taking my kids there years ago. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, Boutte, mm -hmm. you, Cynthia Boutte used to run the YMCA down there oh, off yeah. Crenshaw. Mm -hmm. And yes. Melanie and Cynthia went to school together. Oh. So Melanie was bringing her kids to the Y for, for the uh, summer program. Two, uh, oh. two funny mamas appropriate. So you do have two daughters. If you check this out, Kim, yeah. look at the, look at these ladies together. 
Look at this. Hang on. One sec. Hold tight. Oh, well, that's the Essence Festival with Kim and Oh, that was so fun. Oh, and, when I got on water shorts creeping up, everybody, I got on this top and these shorts, and this is before I lost weight. I got the shorts creeping up in my kitty cat. Girl, and that's, stop oh. it. You look great. Yeah, it, Melody, Melody, I didn't even know that was Melody on the side. Melody got, look at the stank girls on. She got the, one of them little stank, uh, one of them stank girl dresses. dresses on. <laughs> stank girl dresses. Now, right. It was 100 degrees in essence. I was, everything was coming out. Now, and what you said about Essence was it was on her bucket list, Chris. Oh, was it, it was on my bucket list. Kim called and said, hey, can you headline Essence? I was like, hell to the yeah. I'm on my way. I buy my own ticket. I'm on my way. But she right. bought me a ticket. Oh, that's great. Well, what about uh, Kim? Are you familiar with uh, Melanie's daughters? Have you seen these three together? Wow. Oh, oh yeah. That they been, they was over Kim's house when they were like nine and ten. So picking she up, just watched them grow. Picking up bad habits. Wow, look at them. They are grown, 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 and gorgeous. Grown so up. Wow. And mothers. Like I'm a grandmama. No, no, they don't matter. They look you like a sister. one of the sisters. Yes. Wow. She said she's a grandmother. I'm a grandma. grandmommy of three. <laughs> Wow. Now, who has the kids? Both of them. One has one, right? Both of them. The oldest one has two, and the youngest has one. Yes, yes. I yes. Do, I do remember that. Um, I want everybody to be familiar. Uh, please follow Melly Camacho, but she is one of the female comics. You know, I just talked about you yesterday. Uh, we uh -huh. have a, uh -huh, a documentary coming out called Fat Tuesday on- uh, Oh, yeah. Amazon Prime, and uh, we were doing press yesterday. And I kept bringing up your name. I was like, ooh, I done brought up her name. Oh, I wonderful. About female comics, especially back then, you know, in the 90s. You know, I, I used like, to what? host that room. Oh, that's when right. When guys so did... wasn't available, he called me to host, and I'm still kind of new in the game at that point, and it was such an honor. Wow, so make sure y'all on February 4th, <laughs> Amazon, Prime. We've got a uh, we've got a flyer. Check that out. You got uh, Tiffany that. Haddish and uh, Anthony Anderson, Snoop Dogg on the front. Can you uh, St. Louis? I ain't nowhere near, the, nowhere near the picture. Well, um, you're I, you're in it though, Kim. I'm curious. Can you let people know? Um, so it's titled Fat Tuesdays, and it's on February 4th Prime Video. It's the era of hip hop comedy. Could you give a little bit of background on and you too, Melanie, on what the the uh, I guess the connection is with hip hop and comedy for that specific night. I mean, you have Snoop Dogg wow. on the cover. You sound like one of the um, reporters yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, you know, the reason why I think they called it that, Melody. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was during the time that hip hop was on the rise and uh, comedy with Def Jam and Comic View. Um, I feel like this was the time. Uh, Melody, don't you think back then that's what, and all the Snoop and everybody would come to the comedy clubs? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Def Jam was what brought them out. I, you know, just having the title, and Def Jam had a lot of great music artists at that time that were really hot. So any connection with Def Jam, and they was coming to see, and and they did such a great job on the Def Comedy Jam. They, that It was something people had never seen before. So once they saw that and they said, hey, I can bring that to Fat Tuesdays. And he did a great job with that. And the people came out for it, all the stars. Yeah. So that I think, Chris, to answer your question, I think it was the mixture of, of the Hip hop artists hip -hop. coming, and then, mm -hmm. right, and then, like you said, Def Jam. But then, look, we did. I did um, next Friday. Ice Cube, uh, you know, wrote and produced sure. that. So, right, and, right. Uh, and uh, John, I forgot the other guy. She name. chose a lot of comics from there. Chris Tucker, from DJ Pooh, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and he did. AJ Johnson and yeah, a lot of comics. comics. Right. Angela, Angela, Angela up comic. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yvette. Wasn't Yvette in there? Yvette, Yvette yep. Wilson. There was a lot of uh, L.A. people in there. And, and unfortunately, a lot of cast members are gone from Friday. Yeah. That. What were you going to say, Chris? That part. 
No, I was just going to say, Melanie, you may not have realized it at the time, and, and Kim, you either, but now it looks like that's like a, an all-star movie cast. At the time, were you were you all too young to realize how big a deal that was? Did it feel like it was this crazy thing that was happening? Because now, obviously, there's a documentary, but if you look at it through those lenses, you're like, Holy, how do you fit all those stars in the same room every week? Right, because we were stars then. People weren't stars then. They were just well, like the hip hop people. We were just stand up, right, Melanie? Sure. We like right, we was kind right. of and we were so you know excited when we looked. I remember one time I did Fat Tuesdays and Richard Pryor was there, mm -hmm. and it was like, oh my god! You know, I had never met him in person or anything. So Fat Tuesdays brought out a lot of big names came mm -hmm. to see what Fat Tuesday was all about, and it was. It was really good. Yeah. And gotta, it was at the comedy store, so. Legendary. Kim, can yeah. I bug you with, a, with another one? Kim sat in press for four hours on this documentary yesterday, so I feel kind of bad. But it's really interesting to me, especially with you here, Melanie. I'm curious who, uh, remember, you don't have to say the top one, top three people who just destroyed the room on that night. Oh, Ooh, I, just, I couldn't even tell you. I don't uh, even remember. Uh, it was probably the Chris Tuckers, the uh, Martin, the uh, Martins. Uh, I don't even remember seeing half the people on that flyer at Fat Tuesdays. I'm sure they were. I didn't make every Fat Tuesday, but there, right. I, I didn't see a lot of people that were on that flyer. I, I didn't see them. I, I was on tour with the Def Comedy Jam at the time, so I didn't make every Tuesday, but I tried. So, you, so I, I just missed a lot, I guess. Def Comedy Jam, y'all went out on tour? Oh, we were on tour, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I toured, the minute I taped Def Comedy Jam, when I came off stage, Bob Sumner said, you're on tour. I'm, what? Okay. <laughs> and that was January 93. So by, I think it was probably June before we started. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, Bob Sumner. A lot of people don't know that name, but he was very important to the Def Jam. He cast um, it, the um, Def Comedy yeah. Jam. Yeah. And he was the DJ, wasn't he, or something? No, no. Uh, uh, you know who was the DJ? Was uh, Kid Capri. Kid Capri was. was the DJ for the Def Comedy Jam. Because Bob... And he's got a oh. podcast as well, and he always advertises. You know, that's how he intros his, his podcast is with the Def Comedy Jam. So Bob Somner has a podcast or Kid Capri has a podcast? Kid Capri has the podcast. He, oh. No, he has a show on Sirius XM is what he has. He has a show on okay. Sirius XM. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, what, yeah. what else has been going on with you? Well, what you know you me, I'm, you know what I've been doing, Kim? Trying to get Tell this me. movie out. Trying to get the movie out. Well, I wrote, Never. directed. Yep. edited, scored. I did the whole movie because nobody would help me. I couldn't get not one producer, agent, anybody to help me with this film. The only help I got was all my friends came and became part of it. Kim is in it. Sherry is in it. Earthquake, Bruh Man from the Fifth Flow, Tiffany Haddish. Um, it's a hella funny comedy. I, I'm trying to make it the next Friday type movie. So it'll be coming as well to Amazon. And I'm any day now, I'm, I'm waiting for them to tell me the date. So that's where I'm at. I'm in limbo right now. But as soon as I get that date, I'm going to send it over you to Kim. Please promote that for me. You know, I got you. But tell the people, I need you to tell... Melanie was like, I, I I put all this money in this movie. I've done this movie and so much. Every dollar. Everything it was the craziest stuff. Somebody stole the film. Everything went crazy. What? But what I, I you know you, what? Everything. Tell, everything. What's, what real quick, real quick. Everything what, what's the that name? could happen happened. What's the name? My of the movie? first DP stole the footage. She wanted to yeah. become the executive producer. Once he saw uh, that the people that I cast actually showed up, then he was like, oh, no, I, I want to be executive producer now. So we going back and forth for two years trying to get my footage until I finally said, you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a have to go to an attorney if I don't get my footage in a minute. And he finally agreed to give it to me. And then he dies two days later. I'm like, you, this can't be real. Oh, God. Then his wife. Oh, it was the craziest thing. It was, was like, the craziest. 
I spent a lot of money on editors and audio, and I just was not happy. So once we shut down, I'm telling y'all, anything you want to know, YouTube University will show it to you. It ain't going to just tell you how to do it. It's going to show you how to do it. I never edited before Boosters LA. I want you guys, when you go watch this movie, and you'll see YouTube is a beast. And I thank God for YouTube. I, I edited, I mm-hmm. colored it, I scored it, everything, because YouTube taught me. And that was after I spent all my money. And I mean all my yeah, money. She had, she had to go back on YouTube, watch videos to learn how to do stuff. Isn't learn that, how that to edit. Crazy? But you're telling people at home that you can learn anything you if you want to get it done. Anything you want. Mm-hmm. That you anything. can figure it out yourself and get it done. You can do it yourself. Thank God for YouTube University. There's not nothing, anything you want to, I was telling a lot of the guys, they need to learn how, you know, go on to YouTube and learn how to um, go downtown. (laughs) (laughs) They got videos and you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, 50 years old. We don't know how to do that. (laughs) And the movie's called Boosters. Boosters LA. We are stealing in Los Angeles. I think I was edited out of Boosters because I was uh, And it's a said, nationwide Wendell thing. Said, they steal everywhere. Kill. And said, it seems like they saw my movie because ever since <laughs> they've been putting out, they've been robbing like crazy here in LA lately, haven't they, Kim? You seen it? Okay, yeah. They've been they ain't even boosting in LA. It's straight stealing. Stay smashing, grabbing here in LA. It's just crazy. Yeah. This guy tried to get me the other day. I was like, look, all this fake. It's fingernail polish on fake jewelry. But if you want it, it's all yours, oh. sir. <laughs> did you say it was fingernail polish? You put the clear polish on You know on how it. we did it. Remember before you had the money, Kim, how you buy your gold and put the clear fingernail polish so it wouldn't turn? <laughs> you know, so funny. I'm still doing that. You had you put the clear polish on it so your earrings would last or whatever, so the gold wouldn't turn so quick. That's correct. That These got some on it. These these <laughs> these are polished. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. So Boosters LA should be out. Uh, first of all, we will promote, it, but make sure if that drops next more, ten days, I should know something within ten days. How about that? Okay, that is fantastic. Now, are you on the road? Did uh, Wendell, did you find the dog? Yeah, get close. Okay, he's just out there barking. He's out there barking. Okay, so Wendell, Wendell said you cut him out the movie. You cut me out the movie, Melanie. <laughs> you are in that movie, sir. Sorry. Don't be yeah. mad. You're in there, Wendell. Okay. Okay. Wendell's in the movie clapping. When Misha Lay walks by, I make sure everybody, not only did Kim come and do the movie, she brought the village with her. She right. brought all her friends. She brought one friend who had a great scene who decided she didn't want to be in the movie no more. She's going to be sick when it, when it air. Oh, that's right. She's going to be sick. But I kept that scene. I just zoomed her ass out of it. Bet you that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't hear none of her audio. Mm. It look, all you can see is Kim talking to somebody's titties. <laughs> right. If she didn't, I don't know if she didn't want to be in it. or She's going to be sick when it come out. I tell you that. Bet you that. I, I don't know because she loved doing it. Um, I don't Chris, you know Jackie Fabulous, the actress? No, I'm not familiar I mean, with her. Comedian, comedian Jackie Fabulous. She won America. Oh, see, uh, I don't even say names, Kim. I didn't America, see her. America yeah. Got Talent. No, oh, okay. I, I thought I'm being stupid. Well, yes, maybe she's about yes, to blow up and she didn't want it. Yeah, I'm like, if people. Tiffany's still in it and Kim Whitley and Sherry Shepard, who have amazing careers, still are in it. I'm like, what's the problem? But that's okay. I, I'm Everything I think happened for a reason. I don't think she got the email, Melanie. What you think? She got Melanie? the email and she replied with, she replied, thanks, 
anyway. I said, okay, you going to be in? And she was like, no, wait, wait, but wait, thanks wait, anyway. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This, see, this is what happens when you get on Wendy. Mm-hmm. I don't mind dropping all the tea mm-hmm. now. So you telling me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I want to backtrack. I, I was trying to mess with you, Kim. Yeah, I do know Jackie Fabulous. She's actually doing, she does stand up in L.A., uh, all, I guess over the next couple of weeks. Not anymore. Uh, She's in New York now, right, Kim? In the, yeah. in the next couple in the next couple weeks, B flat is going to be doing uh, maybe a show with her or something. I don't know. And then Kim, okay. you said she was in L A. I don't know. She's yes. in L A. for okay. the next couple of weeks. Got okay. It. Sorry. Wait, wait, so Kim, wait, back, wait, to wait, wait, back to the T. Back to the T. Chris said, "Back to the T." Hey, is Wendell going to hang out? By the way, Kim. Now you're sitting over here eating chips and sitting next to me. I just met the, I had these on the airplane. You know. Do you does does Wendell want to be part of the show or do we want off camera voice? Oh, well, I don't know what he want to do. Off camera voice because I I'm not looking <laughs> seventeen and a half. <laughs> oh yeah, he sorry. Five, five, so you don't want the truth to be out. Yeah, Wendell's. You don't want, you don't want us to see his new outfit. <laughs> It's outfit. Okay. Like coming on the podcast with no wig on. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh-oh. Sorry, back to the T. Go ahead. Right, you just might have to be louder on the off uh, on the off camera. Oh, okay. So you're telling me you sent this woman. I ain't gonna bring her name up again. Several emails, and then I hit her up on social media. You told me she didn't reply. No, she didn't reply to the emails. And then I hit her up on Instagram or Facebook, one of those, and she replied back. Um, Thanks. I said, hey, we about, I got a distributor. I'm about to drop this movie. And she was like, oh, okay, thank you. Good luck with that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, did you okay, say well, no, no, you got to be clear with people. Did you say uh, I need you to sign the release form? Oh, definitely. I asked her to sign the release form and she told me to email it to her and I did. And I, and I she never replied back to the email. Email worked. Cuz I can't see oh, nobody yeah. with no credit. She said she got it. Doing. She said she got it. But she declined to sign. So, it's okay. It's not no Jackie big deal. Fabulous. It's not like if Tiffany changed her mind. It's it's not like Kim Whitley or Earthquake or AJ Johnson or John Witherspoon changed their mind. She was in one scene. I know. I, I kept the same. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, why the hell didn't you sign the release form for Monica Camacho? I got to know now. Too, too late. Yeah, maybe she finna blow up or something. I don't know. Maybe her people told her don't sign. I don't know, but it's okay. I am not mad at Jackie. I get no, it. I Thank you. Her. I think it's strange. I feel like she didn't get it. Oh, she got it. <laughs> she got it. And she no. said, thank you. Melanie's not leaving any wiggle room. She said, thank you. Oh, she and, got good luck. and good luck with your life. Thank you and good luck. I said, hey, I got a distributor finally. And she's like, oh, congratulations. Good luck with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I like to see the oh, okay. <laughs> Let, right. Let's see who missed out on it. Let's see who's going to be the loser here. I like that. Can't wait till my film drops. We have not had a good comedy movie. And if anybody's seen one, please send me a message because I've been looking for a great new movie comedy. Oh, my goodness. And I haven't okay. seen one. No, the, you know, the, a comedy. Have you, Kim? Just- please tell me so I can watch it. You know what? <laughs> you all put in the comments a really good comedy movie. A new. Comedy. A new comedy movie because we have not had any since uh, we have back not in- had any. Chris, what do you think? Uh, in regards to movies, it's tough. I think there's a ton of funny series that comes out, and I think budgets are spread around, and you don't get the concentration uh, that you used to with comedy, like big time comedies coming out. I'm trying to think uh, what I've even watched that would be considered like a comedy. You have Adam McKay doing movies like uh, like Don't Look Up Now, which is more like a, a dramatic, like yeah, political, political satire. Was that a yeah, comedy? It was a political satire. Yeah, you wouldn't say that's like something you're holding your stomach to, right? You're not, there's right, funny right. parts, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something, but yeah, that's tough. Well, I was trying to make a movie that was funny 
throughout the whole movie. I, you know, I've seen movies, oh yeah, that first two things. I got earthquake stripping. Mm-hmm. Earthquake is yeah, stripping yeah. in this film and it's hilarious. Oh God. you! I, it's just so many funnies. It's Kim stealing from me in the movie. I'm <laughs> like, what? You boosted from oh, a yeah. booster? Wow. A booster? So there's so many funny moments, and I just cannot wait. And and um, two of my characters have passed on. You know, A.J. Johnson and John Witherspoon are gone. John, John died like three months after he shot his scene. I'm like, wow. oh, my God. But that's not going to deter me any because everybody's still watching Friday, and John died. So oh, yeah. this will be yeah. his last film. So I, I was blessed with yeah. that and A.J.'s. Wow. That's kind of weird that yeah. you smile and talk about, I got, they got their last. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to be, I mean, I, I was blessed with that. They, 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 they up there doing comedy in heaven, girl, please. They, Wait comedy a got, heaven got it going on. The concerts and the comedy really, shows. Is AJ really in heaven? Is AJ Johnson? Oh, really girl, really? stop it. All right. I don't know. Now, what kind of tea are we trying to get into, Kim? What are you? You know, you wanna... I, I done did the Wendy show, oh baby. Yeah, I did is... on the shade room. Yeah. I did on the shade room. Yeah, on the shade room. yeah. Oh. Melanie, today, today we're calling it Tea Funny Mamas. It's not too funny. Oh, mamas. my this God. I, I hope he's in heaven. Well, she knows. Oh God. She knows. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, you well, know. Well, there's a lot of funny yeah. comics up there. And if he in hell, it's a lot of comics down there too. So you know where we at. They, they got some. It's a comedy show going on. Hey, it's a comedy show. Oh. It is. It is. I'm curious about this. Now you said you're a grandmother and your 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 kids are growing up. Did they pursue any kind of entertainment path, Kim? You put your kid in no a TV way. show in a TV show with Wendell when he was barely born. What's no <laughs> no. One oh, my, one of my daughters works for the the Compton County Courthouse, and the other one practically runs this shipping company, and she uh, she sells sea moss. So no, they're they're I not even sea interested. Moss. She ain't got me no sea moss yet. I've been wanting some sea moss. I saw. Some Did you order some? <laughs> All you gotta do is oh, order it. She makes flavored sea moss. What? Wild Olivia Seamoss.com. Wait, say it again. Wild Olivia And it's W Y L D E. Wild Olivia. And she makes some of the best sea moss out there. I don't know if you guys have had sea moss, but the taste is really bland. She's found a way to add flavor naturally. And um, she, she makes, she's making a killing. Everybody's I ordering. Need, she ships, she some. ships all over the country. What's she say? Wild and it's not just sea moss. It's, it's, uh, it's with uh, it's W Y L D E Olivia O L I V I A dot com. Wild Olivia dot com. Sea moss. Wild uh, Olivia sea moss. Why not, is it? No, it's, why just, is the, it y it's just her name. W Y L D E. Probably because the W I L D was already gone. You but know the internet. E? But is there an E there or no? Yes, there's an E there. W Y L D E. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out a lot of things. Yeah, I'm looking at it. She's got plain honey, vanilla bean, all oh. kinds of different ones. If you go to wildolivia.com, you'll see all of that stuff. Lots of oh, flavors. Need, oh. And she has a, a sea moss scrub as well that, oh, makes your skin so soft. Now, what's, uh, so, what's the benefits of sea moss? Well, it's supposed to help with your immune system. So a lot of people decided not to take a vaccination and just eat sea moss every day. I'm like, you better go get vaccinated mm -hmm. and do the mm -hmm. sea moss as a backup. As a backup. But I ain't never even heard of sea moss till COVID-19. I'm like, what sea moss? Where that come from? But um, everybody's selling it. Oh, now, okay, I'm going to some sea moss. I know Sherry was really up on the sea moss thing for a long time. Oh, was she? Okay, yeah, you gotta check it out, try it. It's like an oh, applesauce yeah. texture. The texture oh, is like yeah. applesauce. But it tastes good. As long as it tastes good, I'll eat anything. It tastes good from Wild <laughs> Olivia. Wild <laughs> Olivia tastes good. I don't oh. know about everybody else. 
Wendell oh. said no comment. Okay. Yeah, but I was going to say, Wendell knows you, you really haven't, well. You got to try Wild Olivia, Wendell. Because I I, the first time I tried it, I was like, Ugh. Yeah, it, it would have no taste. Yeah, but now it has taste. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, mm. she's found a way to flavor it, thank God. Because uh, uh, I don't like the plain. <clears throat> well, um. Yes. So, so you were married. Back I was married day. for seven years. Damn, that was pretty good. Seven man. years. <laughs> Did you say and that's two pretty kids good? Late. <laughs> that was that's a long good. time for me. Did you say that's pretty good? I didn't why are you? Why, why are you assessing it like it's like a a, a, ga- a pickup game? That was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Was well, only man. five of them was good. The last two he spent on drugs, so I was like, ah, I can't do this no more. He ended up befriending crack, and I was like, oh no, no, no. I got to get out of this situation. I, I And I did. I, as a matter of fact, I had just booked the Deaf Comedy Jam tour, and I was like, you ain't going to smoke this money up. I want a divorce. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You oh, won't no. be smoking my Deaf Jam checks up. Sorry, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, how did you get away from him? And what was it like living with I divorced him. Oh, I was changed the locks, and I divorced him. He was... How did you know he was doing crack? Like, when did you figure that well, out? Well, stuff would come up missing. I mean, I came oh, home one day, I got damn. a 25-inch color TV. That's when they had the floor models, and the TV was gone. We lived upstairs. How you get a 25-inch color TV down? I'm talking about it was in the shop. Nigga, in the pawn shop. You forgot to put the pawn in front of it. Oh my God! Yeah, her, stuff started what, coming up missing. I was like, something going on here. You have to put the pond in front of it. Wendell, get her some water. That was. You forgot to put the pond part. Girl, the pond my shot. TV. I was like, okay, enough is enough. Wait a minute. So wait. <laughs> oh my did you kim the part the part that really broke it down was she did the math she's like you really need something to be motivating you to get that big remember how big those tvs were she Dude, did the math months. immediately she's like second floor mm-mm. <laughs> and they heavy as hell how do you get that big ass tv to, you must have you had help somebody came over here and helped you get that tv down them stage. the person he sold it to the person he sold it to mm-hmm. came and picked it up i guess wow. so and yeah. Changed the loss. How old were your kids then? Mm, I say they were probably five, four and five. Oh wow, they were babies. Four and five. Four yeah, and I tried. I, I did everything a wife's supposed to do. I went with them to the to the rehab. I tried to get them off, but uh, that drug is a powerful drug, and I just I can't keep. I was trying to get my you know career going, and I couldn't be. You know, I'm no nurse. Mm-hmm. I, I just mm-hmm. I had enough. It's so tough. I got divorced. Thanks for the two beautiful children, and I really haven't heard from him pretty much since. I don't know where he is. Do you know if he's alive? I, I checked because I was trying to get that Social Security if he wasn't, but he's still alive somewhere. So <laughs> no, nah. he's still alive, girl. Shit. I was trying when them kids was, you know, I was trying to make ends meet. I was like, if he got a social security, my kids need that money. But nope. He's still alive somewhere. Probably under a tent somewhere downtown L.A. Who knows? Mm. I don't know. Or in Inglewood where they moving everybody. Mm. Oh, man. They moving everybody out of Inglewood. They will not be having them people. Because of the Super Bowl. I mean, it was Correct. like they took a bulldozer to all the homeless camps and like, just like, oh, y'all not gonna really? let people see how we really But they had been warning them. them for a while. That wasn't, they said, look, y'all got like 30 days. They've been telling them for but a minute. And for 30 days, they supposed to get a moving truck or a storage unit and get out. Where they gonna go? No, no. They gave them vouchers to go. A lot of homeless oh. people, let's, let's keep it real, here in L.A., they are giving them places to live, but they don't want to follow the rules. They don't want to be back in their room by 10 o'clock or whatever the rule is. They want to be outside drinking, smoking, doing whatever the hell they want to do. 
Oh. And if you live in a lot of those places, you can't do those things. So they rather live on the street in a tent than follow the rules. And that's really the bottom line most of the time. Well, that's, you're you're accurate with that, Melanie. That's that's everywhere. That's what a lot of people don't realize about homeless uh, people. Not yeah. everybody. So we'll say that before they send the hate mail. Not but, everybody, but, no. But a lot of people have the opportunity to get in a place, and yeah. they don't want to. Because that's, you can't do your substance abuse in those shelters mm -hmm. and situations. Correct. That is it, correct. You're also dealing with people that are schizophrenic and have God knows right. how many other afflictions that they're not being helped with. And you oh. can't, and I'm not saying it's an easy fix. You can't. It's very tough, I'm sure, to have a five person fix your life team for every single person that's homeless because that's what it would take, and it's really difficult. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah, and then Reagan signed that that law in the order when he was in office to let crazy people sign themselves out or say, I don't need to be here. And so they all sign themselves out, really. You know, a lot of people, you know, that, that some guy with right mental right issues just did. killed that lady in, 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 not too long ago. A beautiful little 24-year-old girl. He walked right into the furniture store and stabbed her to death. Hmm. On mail road. Wasn't on mail road. Why? Because he was homeless or crazy or what? Because he was mentally crazy. Mentally appropriate. He was mentally ill. He needed medication. She probably said, hey, sir, you're going to have to get out of here. And he was like, I ain't going nowhere. I don't know. But <laughs> he, he, they caught him. They got him oh. the other day. So yeah. thank God for that. Thank God for cameras. You know what's bad, though? You know, I think about that girl's life is gone. And his Man. life is better. His life is better because now he's in a facility where he'll have three hots and a cot. He's gonna have food. He's gonna have friends. He's gonna have heat. So why wasn't yeah. that happening before? That's the frustrating part. No, well, he's gonna be in jail having all those things, right? Right. But that's what I'm saying. Right. He's still living a better life than being on the streets, you know? Right. Right. But he uh, still now he still got to follow the rules though. Now he got to follow. And there's a lot of people in the jails that need to be in mental institutes. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you, Kim. I love the color of your eyes. Look at that. Don't you love seeing her eyes? How I'm wonderful! To understand why do you want me to do this? I don't know. You want to watch a show where somebody's looking down on the right of their? I can't see. <laughs> oh no! I I see. See. Oh, because I look down because <laughs> I did what I always do. You know, when I'm on the podcast, I'm also running my life. Well, we're no, all very impressed. I'm crazy. <laughs> Guess who just texted me and said they're on their way over. Jackie, fabulous. <laughs> oh, it is cotton. She's coming to straighten that shit out. Coming. Get her on. I know. Get her on. Get her on. Well, is... get, look, I didn't say your name, Jackie. Kim did. <laughs> Okay. Well, time Chris, to. Uh, now we don't have a show. Wendell, no, thank you. Show. Wendell, Wendell's. Uh, <laughs> Wendell gets a producer credit for today's show, and this oh, is a big oh. one. This is gonna. This is gonna skyrocket. Uh, oh yeah! Come on, hey, Jackie. Good. Uh, good time to remind everybody if you haven't checked out Kim's episodes with. Finesse from last week on the Wendy Show YouTube channel. You can also check out Sherry on the, as this airs on Thursday. You can still check out all Sherry's appearances on the Wendy Show on their YouTube channel. And then uh, tune in Friday as well. You know the ladies stay busy and they've got a lot going on. There is something that I'm excited about, Kim, and we talked about it last week. Melanie, weigh in on this. And this could actually tie in to uh, the hip-hop and comedy night that we were talking about, if hip-hop is your genre. Um Sherry, it was announced, is going on tour with Babyface and Kem, K-E-M, not to be confused wow. with Kim, Kim Whitley. Wow. Uh, right. So Sherry's going to be on tour and they're doing they're doing arenas and they're doing a 10,000 arena here in St. Louis. Question for the both of you. If you're opening up for your favorite artist, who's it going to be? You have to do comedy for 20 minutes before the show starts. You have to pick two artists that... Uh, that you're going to open for on a national tour like Sherry's doing with Babyface and uh, Kim? Well, Sherry took my two artists. Kim was <laughs> my favorite and a friend of mine. I was like, how the hell he called Sherry? I'm talking about a personal friend of mine. I haven't called him yet to say anything. I was like, and I know Babyface, but I'm really close with Kim. Um, but I would go with Stevie Wonder and Charlie Wilson. 
Get out of here. Oh, wow. You went old school on us. Old school. Yeah. Because that would be my audience. <laughs> I need them coming in on a walker for these people. <laughs> Kim, what do you what do you have to say about Shaq saying that uh, he lived in the same building as Stevie Wonder and he thinks Stevie can see? Oh, Stevie can ah, see. Hilarious. What's that? I mean, Stevie can see. I really feel like <laughs> now I spent I actually spent all New Year's Eve with Stevie and his family all weekend. Actually, wow. Josh was close with their friends. I'm friends with his wife, and me me and Stevie just sat on the couch cracking jokes, drinking, just me and him talking. Uh, but I have seen Stevie drive. Um, Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Um, Wendell, do yeah. you know what kind of views this show is going to do? Are you kidding me? Kim Whitley drops that Stevie Wonder drives? <laughs> he drives. <laughs> um, I do sometimes. Feel like he gets I, when I tell you, I absolutely love him and his family to the moon. Because people don't, you know, people think celebrities are one way or how you imagine them. Uh, that family is still, they're so regular. They got money and he's famous and all that. But and he good, owns KJLH, right? Yep. Radio, uh, oh, he's is not owned by a big conglomerate. Stevie owns it and it's, uh, he's kept people working for years. It's one of the so. number one stations in LA. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So who would be your artist, Melody? Well, I've had to, I've been blessed with the, uh, with, uh, to, I toured with Maxwell when he was at the height of his career. Um, I went out and did 30 minutes and then he did an hour and a half and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it was just you Maxwell, I toured with Maxwell all over the United States and it was amazing. And then yeah. I did another tour with all boy bands. Jagged Edge, Drew Hill, Casey and JoJo, H Town, and uh, next, I hosted that. Too close tour next. As well. so that Too close fun. next. Those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I had that CD in seventh grade. I was I was listening to that one. Uh, that's amazing. Wait, Kim, did you tell Melanie that uh, you were making eyes at Maxwell last week? Uh -oh. Maxwell, did. Maxwell came on the Wendy Williams show. Um, okay. So uh, we had a good time. I flirted with him. He's so nice, so smart. He's a sweetheart. Oh, he's a and sweetheart. he's shy too. Did you know he's shy? And he's shy. Let me send him a message right now. Take it. Be like, uh, uh, hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. So, do you have anybody else that you would want to tour with right now? Oh, who's hot right now? Um, I'd like those little boys. What's Cardi B's boyfriend, husband? Those guys, I tour with them. What's their names? Oh, uh, yeah. off, offset, amigos. Yeah, offset and uh, yeah. What's the amigos? Yeah. Amigos. Hey, amigos, holla at auntie. I'll be glad to open up for y'all. <laughs> Oh yeah, you you would fit that crowd. Melody Camacho and Migos on tour this this summer. Oh Let's yeah, do it. bring your mama. Uh, -uh <laughs> not bring your mama. Oh my goodness. Bring your mama to see Amigos with Melody Camacho and Amigos. <laughs> I'm looking at uh uh, date. So are you dating or anything? Don't I wish? No, no dating. I try not to do the guys in the industry, Kim. You know how that goes. No thanks. We, the audience so, does. The audience I'm waiting doesn't on know. my Amazon guy to come by. I think I'm gonna try to holler at him today. Huh? He's kind of cute. <laughs> my little Amazon delivery guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a job. He got a job. He got, got a job. Benefits. Yep. He got his own insurance. And benefits. And he got a truck. <laughs> and he got a truck. <laughs> Hey, Melanie, Melanie, and he can lift, he can lift heavy objects. So, hey, yes. What is that like, Melanie? You said Kim knows how that goes. What's you two's experience like dating in the industry? Oh, I, Kim, I, I have it. Kim, well, Kim had a boyfriend. She, she was living well, with her. Why do you say I had a boyfriend? Like, oh, he had one boyfriend. <laughs> Bless her. No, heart. no, no. You probably, uh, from what I heard, you you went through quite a few of them, but I didn't want to put your business out there like that. <laughs> I didn't want to 
want to be telling on you and shit. But yeah, I heard you done ran through half of Hollywood. You want to oh. keep it 100 now. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, yeah! See, that's why the camera did that. See? See? It's trying to let you exit gracefully. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> I start dropping no. them names, Kim. <laughs> Drop them names. <laughs> Give no, me two of your exes. exes. Give me two exes, Kim. And he, and you can't say Gerald Levert. We've talked about him too much on here. Yeah, we can't talk about Gerald. We talk. Let's talk about some of them comedians that you've been banging. Let's talk about <laughs> them. <laughs> I, never, I never did comedians. I didn't. Oh, that comedians. ain't what I heard. No, but okay. No, for real. Did you hear anything? Because I didn't. I, I did. I Back in the day before Steve and Cedric got married, I heard y'all had a little sandwich thing going on. But I, I, what? I, I, I didn't know. That's a liar. That's so funny. You almost made my wig fall off. I was like, woo. Time was uh -oh. hard then. She must have been trying to get paid. Because, Let okay. me tell you something. Had I done that, let me tell you something. I would be paid. I would be living here, paying my own bills. <laughs> and that's why I didn't uh, understand you, If y'all saw Kim House, she'd be like, really, though? Really? <laughs> but I don't want to pay mansion. for it. I got to pay for it myself. That's the problem. Oh, that's girl. It. It's much nicer. Wish that was my problem. problem. I'm trying to pay rent on a two-bedroom apartment. You got a mansion over there. <laughs> so <laughs> We you better to... be thankful you can pay for that house, girl, yeah. please. No, you're right. I'd be in I, foreclosure no. right now. I'd be in foreclosure, Kim. No, 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 Melody, no, 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 you wouldn't. Melody, you wouldn't. Yes, hard. I would. I'd be calling Kim. Hey, Kim, you got, you got $3,000 until next month. <laughs> and let me tell right. y'all, when I do do that, Kim be like, come get it. Or I'm a cash app. That girl has yeah. helped me out of some big situations. But I pay back, don't I, Kim? I pay back. You sure do. This is, this is That's what I'm saying. Well. As long as you pay the bank back, you can always come back to the bank. It's the ones okay, that Okay, well, I'm going to be calling back. you after the show because I'm in a... Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Y'all don't listen to her. Melanie is crazy. So are you going on tour? Do you have any shows coming up? I do not. I got one show March the 5th, and that's about it. Um... Now that's in I'm, Chicago. I'm, I'm waiting on my, oh, I'm, right no. now, I'm just look, waiting on oh, my no, movie. Yeah, that's show. it. March Madness. March Madness look comedy at this. show. Kim, look at look this real at quick. This. Can you see it? I can. I'm waiting okay. on you to talk. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, if you want to, go ahead. But yeah, it's March Madness Comedy Jam. You got J. Anthony Brown, Bill Bellamy, Arnez J., Melanie Camacho, Honest John, Marcus Combs. Uh, I've talked to Bill and Arnez out of those people. And if just between those two... That's going to be a hell of a show, and the Melanie's on there. Where team. and wh where you're not giving all the information, Chris? <laughs> it's oh, in Tinsley Park, boy. Illinois. It's right yes. outside of Chicago. It is just so, outside okay. of Chicago, and if you all want to check that out to go get tickets, be sure to look that up because uh, CG Big Time Entertainment. Oh, we'll leave that up there. We'll uh, put that back up. Uh, and then I'll be at the uh, the Improv on Monday here in L.A. Um, D. Ray called and asked me if I when I was coming, and I said, "Hey, I'm next week." So okay. I'll be at the Improv as well on Monday if you live in the Los Angeles area. So nice. what about you, you, Kim? What you do, girl? You know whose tour are you on? You know uh, they have put me in some clubs. I have not gotten back into the stand up game. Cause I've been working and I'm lazy and all that other stuff, but no, not lazy. You're doing film and TV. Let's keep it 100. Come on now. Yeah. Film and TV. Me and Sherry got a show this Sunday in Oxnard at Levity uh, Live, Oxnard, California. Um, okay. The 30th this Sunday, so January 30th. So you can still get your tickets, uh, please. But I think people are afraid of COVID. I think these shows are not. Shows are Seven. slowing down because of the new variant. You got that right? Yeah, yeah the it's new variant. It's very contagious. People aren't really vaccinated. A lot of people are not vaccinated. Oh, you understand. When Jackie Fabulous come over here, you don't think I'm going to grab my mask? And she coming over oh. here with her man. And I'm going to tell she her to sit down. She ain't vaccinated? I don't, She's not vaccinated? Don't, but it doesn't matter. Oh. You know, people get the oh, variant. Oh, I know that's right. Yeah, so people have the variant and... uh 
The problem is this, I'm vaccinated, but if I go to work and they test me and I come back positive, I can't work. And you can't you know? work. And I want to Friday, uh, this Friday, I want to go to Cleveland and see my dad. So I don't want to take the Corona I, off in there. What so else you do in Cleveland? Am, I Kim am, has the coolest dad, y'all. Let me tell you, I love Kim's dad. Cool, Funny, he a comedian. Oh my God, I love Kim dad. Isn't he? Hold on. I used to eat lunch with him on the Time Joiner cruise. I'd be hollering at them at the Time Joiner cruise. I would go try to eat with him at least once. Isn't that wild? You got a smart man like that whose kids all are doing well, and he's uh, he's doing well living his life in Cleveland. And man, what I bet he's got stories and all kinds of stuff to share. Oh yeah, yeah. he was a very famous architect. That's right. And you know, David Arnold is filming his. Uh, Netflix, his second Netflix special in Cleveland wow. on Saturday the 29th. So Sherry's going to fly Who's, in from who, who does he have a hook up with? David Arnold's got two Netflix specials and Kim Willie don't one. have one? It What's ain't going on? Yeah. No, Kim Willie, the problem is Kim Willie got to practice. Like he did a whole tour and practice to get ready for this, which I was very proud of him. Um, he put the work in. So it's going to be at the Hannah Theater in uh, Cleveland. Uh, you which theater? The Hannah, the Hannah Theater. <laughs> Where's he That's from? Me. Is he from Cleveland? He's from Cleveland. Two shows, seven and nine thirty. Kim, uh, people were asking what show you would be at, and also real quick, if you're in Cleveland at the Hannah Theater, if you'll pop that back up, please uh, go to davidarnold.com to get tickets. If it's not already all sold out, but go be part of this. Kim, did you do you know what show you're going to? You know what? This is the th weird. I was trying to figure that out last night because Lena's going to go also. Do you go to the first show, get it over with, go home? Or do you go to the last show so you can hang out with them? I don't think I can sit there for two shows. I'll go crazy. Before I The last a show is usually the better show because the, the people do what they forgot on the first show. They do it on the second show. So yeah. um, the second show is always the better show for me. There's my answer. I'm going to go to the second show Kim. because then I can hang out with him afterwards. Do, do, yeah. a, do David a favor. Get a nap in after your flight, then go to the late show, and you'll have a blast. I will get a nap in, but I will have flown in. I'm going to fly in on, I'm going to take the red eye and fly in on Friday morning. So spend all day with my dad on Friday, and then uh, uh, hang. But you know what's so funny is when you're on the East Coast, your, your time difference, you're wide awake because you have L.A. time. It's when you come mm -hmm. back here, you fall asleep. So the late show would be the easy. Jet lag. Clock here. Yeah. yeah. So I, well, I, I hope will. the weather holds up so you can get there because it's been the weather's been acting up. Oh, don't tell me that. I hope the weather is uh, good so I can get in. And I'm driving. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping for a a great weekend. You know, I haven't seen. I didn't get to see my dad for the holidays because of the variant. And I didn't go to Cleveland, so I, I am definitely going to go and spend time. My father's 87 years old. Uh, it means the world wow. to me. So go and hang out with him, even though Joshua will have to stay here. Because, girl, let me tell you something. I got $700 credit on Spirit. You know how long it's going to take me to use $700? Wow. You can fly around the world. <laughs> Girl, that's like catching a greyhound. You're going to make 3,000 stops before you get to Cleveland, girl. I was like, I told my assistant, I said, come on, because there's nothing flying nonstop but spirit. I was like, come on. And Not I, could take, I could take United into Arizona. And then I was like, cool, an hour over. It's got a, it's going to get a 50 seater plane. I don't really like those little planes. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to fly from Arizona. It's Wait a minute. Hours. You'll get on a private plane and it show ain't no 50 seats on that. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good comeback. But is it, oh, a private jet, I guess it is the same size, huh? Yeah, with, no, with, it's with a little one, bit smaller. With one tenth of the people. Those private jets are a little smaller than the 50 seater. <laughs> the ones I've been on. Yeah, it's just They Kim got and... like 20 seats, maybe. Kim Not even 20. Kim and whoever's supplying the uh, the plane, the only two people on it with the pilot. 
No. Okay, maybe I'll take the I'll ooh, I'll take the you know what? Don't I take feel the like. direct spirit. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is what? The problem. <laughs> Chris, I don't mind. I love spirit going from LA to Cleveland. I don't like Cleveland back to LA because the clientele is a little different. So do I need to use up my credit? I got credit on United too. I need to use that spirit credit. But, what? but I'm only using two hundred dollars of it. I want to know, Melanie. You got to be curious about this too. What does a credit get you on Spirit? Like, do you get like if for for six hundred dollars? Do you get a seatbelt? For seven hundred dollars, do you get like a bag no, of popcorn? No, no like, seat how does that belt, work? No toilet paper, no peanuts, no juice. That's all you get is the seat that will not recline for 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 your six hundred dollars. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the big seat, in the front. Good luck with that. Oh, wait a minute. So the, the car is mine now? Yeah. What? Let's see what it says. It says my name on here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's what scary. car is that, Kim? So Wendell bought me a car. Well, Wendell had a car years ago. <laughs> and okay. One of his mini cars is Mercedes. And I was like, can I borrow it? And so he was like, go ahead. You can use it. I've had the car for probably, what, 10 years? Almost 10 years. Seven years I, right? I drove it for one month. You've had it about 10 years. So I, wow. he would pay the insurance on it and he would pay the XM radio. I guess he got sick of me. So he said, here, Merry Christmas. He went and changed the <laughs> registration. Ah, he put it in your name. Huh. You can pay the taxes. He oh. said, I'm not paying for another one of them tickets, Kim. I'm putting this in your name. Look, look, Melanie, in case she let Rodney. I'm tired of street cleaning tickets. Look, look, Melanie, in case you let Rodney or somebody drive it and they rob a bank, I don't want them coming after right. me. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Get your well, name off well, of that. Well, well, well. <laughs> you know, father handles business. You know. I got Ho me. Hollywood me. husband coming through. That's right. Hollywood you know. husband coming up. Wait a minute, his name's still on the insurance, though. He, he ain't got free yet. Uh... Yeah, well, see, yeah, I just still carried it. Yeah, because you, know, I, I you need to there. change it over to yours, right? Yeah, I heard you, Chris. I was reassuring I you. you. Well, see if Spirit Airlines will let you use some of them credits to get you some insurance. <laughs> 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 Repurpose. You leaving, window? Yeah, yeah. bye, y'all. Yeah, I got a eleven thirty. Oh, okay. Avoid see it. you, Wendell. Bye, bye, Wendell James. Bye, Thank you, honey. Bye. You gonna miss oh, Jackie? Look like we ain't gonna make it. Sherry ain't gonna make it in time. She just was talking smack. She ain't coming over there. Hey, dog. Oh, Jackie Fabulous. She on her way. She on. Yeah, that's what she say. Me. On her hey. way from where? New York. She should have <laughs> been there by now. Hey, while, uh, while you all decide Jackie's uh, travel plans, I want to remind everybody, go to NAACPImageAwards.net. And you know what, Melanie, did you hear what these ladies achieved? Kim and Sherry nominated for an NAACP Image Award Outstanding Lifestyle Self-Help Podcast. As you can tell, today it's a huge self-help podcast. We're really into helping others. Wow. Uh, Congratulations. <laughs> but vote for Two Funny Mamas. Get them this award. They deserve it. They both work so hard, and we're so excited for it. Yes. You, uh, you got my it. vote. Please go on your Let email. Me... Uh, go to uh, whatever Chris just said, and you can vote <laughs> as, many, as many email addresses as you have. You can vote. So uh, please go NAACP, right, Chris? Yeah, yeah and... NAACP Image Awards net, and then you go to the uh, nominees and you vote and you go pick Outstanding Lifestyle Self Help Podcast. And you got Kim Whitley, Sherry Shepard, Two Funny Mamas, and they're going to need you. Sherry's up against her therapist. They have a former member of, uh, <laughs> of, of Destiny's Child that they're up against. So all the Two Funny Mamas fans, yeah. friends, enemies, whomever, just make it happen. Go vote for Sherry and Kim. They deserve it. They work hard, and they've, uh, they've given a lot back for this podcast. So I'm excited for them. Thank yes. you so much. And please do. Yeah. Kim, I'm going to tell you a story. Once Kim... Um, was booked to host the Image Awards party. And she brought me to help her do it. I mean, we had so much fun that night. Kim, crazy, but one of my trademarks is my thigh-high boots. So I'm yes. introducing Kim Whitley, and here she comes on stage with some thigh-high boots. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, Kim Whitley, 
not Melanie Camacho. Here she come with her thought. Oh, I couldn't stop laughing. That was, that was so, so funny. funny. I was like, I'm trying to be like you, girl. Did she steal? Oh, any, did she steal any jokes from you that night? Not that no, she night. She did not. You know, you know what I said? Not that night. No, not she that. never steals jokes. She calls me every blue moon to write some jokes for, her, but she never steals mm-hmm. my jokes. Don't you guys have a similar joke? Oh, what joke is that? that? No, I'm serious. You have a you oh, have a joke yeah. that you we do talk about that. We do talk about that. And if Melanie goes up first, the one we can't what talk joke about is that? Chris, the mm-hmm. joke is not appropriate to bring up. Oh, this is an NAACP podcast. Image Award uh, nominated podcast. We want to keep it clean. Okay. We, yeah, the folding of the stuffing and the yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I yeah. I know the joke. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. see, see, Chris, on another podcast, we could talk about that. Well, and people uh, have to just go see uh, Melanie live in Chicago or uh, at the Laugh Factory whenever she's performing. Improv. At the yeah. Improv oh, on I'm Monday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Improv on Monday. My bad. With D-Ray. Mm-hmm. That guy's wild. Oh, he, he D-Ray can do four hours in a night. He's crazy. Uh, I think he just made history by selling more shows at the Improv Houston than any comic ever. I think he did like 11 shows in a weekend. Yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. Ow! Who does D-Ray that? Davis. D-Ray Davis. He does that in St. Louis too. He'll sell like, a, he'll do a, a club and he'll add on like six shows. It's crazy. Why? Tommy T's as well. 11 shows. We normally do six. He did 11. So he would do like a, a eight, a 10 and a 12. I'm like, oh my God, how do you, how do you, I, I'm confused after six, after two shows. I can't remember what I did and what I, I didn't I, do. Me too. I have gone up and been like, did I say this joke? Because you, yeah, no, I would go crazy. I, I, that's a I, Me too. I don't know how he do that, but good, big ups to D-Ray for doing it. Big wow. Ups to D-Ray. I love him. Oh my gosh. Um, well, um, I guess we can close it on up, Chris. And uh, what's ask a white guy, Chris? Did you have something? Anything? Melanie, have you ever wanted to ask a white guy anything? We have a resident no, white nothing guy. nothing but have you ever dated a black woman? That was about the biggest oh, is question, that the question I had for a white guy. Have you ever dated a white, a black girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I ain't but... talking about Kim. I ain't talking about a yellow girl. I'm talking about a <laughs> black girl. <laughs> Tell him, Melanie. I'll say, I'll say this. I uh, I remember I was going to say, I think I showed a picture of Kim of an ex-girlfriend. And what did you say, Kim? You're, uh, I won't ever repeat it, but uh, Kim had something know. to say. I don't remember what I said, Chris. You know exactly what you said. So, yes. So, the answer is yes, Melanie. I have. Yes, you have. Uh-huh. And how did you like that? Ooh, ooh. Did you like chocolate or what? You're going <laughs> to go said- back to Bethnelli. This, I always get awkward about this because uh, I, I've dated, uh, I don't know, I've dated a few different uh, folks. but Races. Yeah, but uh, yeah, to me, it's like who you're dating and all that. I don't really get, you have to respect and appreciate, obviously, where somebody's coming from and who they are. Like, that's a big thing. But I get, I get real, it's kind of cringy whenever somebody's like, I only date black girls or something like that. That's kind of weird. Like, I, that's a strange thing. Like, I try not to be like that. But yeah very good relationship and uh, just a good person. And the food is great, isn't it? Did you try her macaroni and cheese or her greens? The greens in that dressing? Oh my God. See, if I talk like that, I sound like I'm pimping some kind of weird facade of a character playing. Like, you'd think I shaved my beard real thin and only listen to, to certain, to like Eminem or something. But it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to me, yeah, it's just a, a good person, and uh, you know, that's that's how it worked. You you you're that Neapolitan guy. You'll try all the flavors, right? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this this is a yeah, tough spot a to be in. Vanilla and a you, strawberry. You, you I'll try it all. Man. You said ask the white guy. It's your segment. It's your show. So you steered it in the direction you you planned this ahead of time. No, it, I it's great. No, I I appreciate the question. Thank you, Melanie. Do we have any comments <laughs> from the audience, Chris, that you'd like that we have come up or anything that we, you know, have we- you two have, uh, have done such a great job today. I don't want to keep you too much longer. I know you've got a busy schedule, but I do just want to relay. Yes. And I said a little something about this 
uh, last week. But we joked around about the uh, the self help lifestyle podcast. Like, what the heck have, have, is Two Funny Mamas done? The amount of comments and nice messages that have been sent to me personally saying you helped me through this quarantine was terrible i had a death in the family i had a, a a terrible relationship going on i was depressed i was this i was that people truly turned to you and sherry for the entertainment and then even having folks like melanie on you've had other great co-hosts and bringing it every single week i think that should be the theme of today's listener comments is that people do appreciate you all and it has meant something to somebody and we do we laugh and we come on here and we uh kind of you know maybe devalue what you're actually doing for people because it's it's kind of a strange thing to think that a podcast can change somebody's life but a lot of very nice comments so let's uh oh. let's just say thanks to the listeners well thank you so much uh listeners make sure you go vote at the uh naacp.com no dot net that's all right naacp now let Ryan say it into, well, this, yeah, just go to NAACPimageawards.net. The, vote uh, NAACP, the, right. Yeah, the vote part, if, it, if it's a weird link, just NAACPimageawards.net, vote for uh, Kim and Sherry, Outstanding Lifestyle and podcast. Self-Help Podcast. Yep. And uh, Lifestyles, yeah. Well, Motivational thank you. Podcast. Motivational. If you want any of the Two Funny Mamas t-shirts or things that we have, please go to buyjack.com slash two funny mamas there it is and get your t-shirts and your mask and uh everything up don't forget to listen to be flat tighten up tuesdays that's a, a podcast uh that sprung off of two funny mamas make sure you listen and watch her and um you know melanie has some comedy shows coming up uh, you can see her monday night at the improv uh here in los angeles then I, me and Sherry are going to be at Levity Live in, at Oxnard, California uh, next Sunday or this Sunday coming up, the 30th. Uh, so please check us out. Uh, you can follow Melody, as you can see on Instagram, at Melanie Camacho. And that's M-E-L-A-N-I-E. These are for the listeners, Chris. C-O-M-A-R-C-H-O. See, I just Chris, love it. I love watching you work. It's great. Great Chris job, is a hero. I'm, he I'm, likes to let Sherry run her mouth for four hours. But me, he's like... <laughs> I'd spend uh, Melanie, all day with you if I could, Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melanie, we love you. Thank you so much for coming on Two Funny Thank Mamas. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. You're Have so a blessed funny. day, everybody. All right. Thank y'all for listening. Be safe out there. Okay. So, Jackie Fabulous is coming... And uh, Chris, we have uh, figured it out. Um, the uh, mystery of the signing of the release form. Jackie said she would have signed it. She said she thinks she was confused. What I said, I said, I'm sure Jackie didn't understand what was happening. There go Wendell, thank you. I'm going for two minutes. Hi, Wendell. Jackie, Jackie, say. What happened? I, here's the thing. I figured that I was taking so long that Melanie was like, you know what? No, never mind. We're going to cut it anyway. Or we cut it. Don't bother with the sense. I don't know what happened. Sometimes the email gets. I told you. I told you. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.